Hi guys, and welcome to Daily Scuba News. So first of all, say hi to Holly. Mm. Holly, say hi to everybody. Hiya. Hi, uh, Holly. <laughs> uh, okay, so today's episode of Daily Scuba News is sponsored by liveaboard.com, but more about them later. So researchers from Flinders University have been working on making a shark bite resistant material for surfers and divers, and they've been testing out their new material with some pretty toothy research assistants. A study from 2018 revealed that there were 130 cases of shark-human incidents last year and five were fatal, so a team from the Australian University decided to make a wetsuit that can be worn that could protect you from a shark bite better than traditional neoprene, but not as heavy as a chainmail suit. Something actually practical. Yeah, something you can move around in. So they tested two new materials, wrapping up a buoy with uh, on a rope, not a, a young child, a, a floating buoy, um, on a rope. They threw that in the water Water with a bunch of great white sharks in to basically see how their new material would stand up to you know the real thing noshing on their wetsuit. So these new materials, these fabrics are made with ultra high molecular weight polyethylene fibers that are widely considered to be the uh, basically among the world's strongest fibers and would basically prevent the shark's teeth from puncturing or lacerating the material and then you know you inside. So how did the materials hold up against a bunch of four meter long great white sharks? Well, first off, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Are you looking for the best scuba diving the world has to offer? Well, liverboard.com is the right place for you. Liverboard offers unique diving experiences around the world, including destinations such as the Maldives, the Area Toll, Thailand, the Similan Islands, and of course, the Red Sea. Yeah, so they feature 470 liverboards in 38 different countries with more than 28,000 plus trips, 24 seven multi-language reservation teams ready to help you find the perfect diving holiday. To find out more about liverboard.com, click on the link pinned in the comments below. Explore the oceans of the world in style and comfort with liverboard.com. So, how did the materials hold up against a bunch of four meter long whites? Well, Dr. Charlie Hooven is, who led the study, probably put it best in this enthusiastic statement. Our results showed that both fabrics tested may provide some protection against shark bite and could be used as part of a shark bite mitigation strategy. Yeah, that's passionate, that is. <laughs> so the results were actually more positive than Dr. Hooveneers kind of lets on, and the materials did offer much better protection than standard neoprene linings, but much like bulletproof vests, bulletproof vests will kind of stop the bullet, but the force is still being applied to your body, and the same with the wetsuits. The wetsuits probably won't help that much with a thrashing great white shark attached onto your leg, but you know, every little helps. It means it's not really cutting and lacerating your skin, so you're not gonna bleed quite so much. <laughs> so what do you think? Would you go for a bite resistant wetsuit over a conventional suit and feel safer? Or should we just accept that maybe we just shouldn't be in the water with great white sharks? Let's discuss below. And with that, we've reached that point of the video where we need to point out that around 70% of you aren't subscribed to our channel, which doesn't make sense because you clearly enjoy the material and subscribing is free. So why not go ahead and click that little subscribe button? Thanks for watching and happy diving. Yes! Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> holy! Holy! <laughs> Methyl mercury, which kills off marine life and also interferes with the generations very much like um, Prozac. Prozac, that's the, that's the <laughs> fluoxetine. Fun times. Um, so, of course, the Channel Island Fisheries and Marine Resources Department, they've really got to come up with shorter names for their <laughs> own companies. Seriously. Anyway, obviously, they're stepping up 